Hi, I'm Javier, and here's five tips on how to use the Macintosh. Maybe most of you already know them, but they helped me, and the moment I learned about them, I was like, whoa, what? And then I was able to work so much faster. So hopefully I can help you. And actually, if you guys know any more, can you please write them in the comments down below, because I'm always looking to get so much faster. Let's do it. So the first tip is to use command tab to toggle in between all of your applications. So if I hit command tab, it goes to the right. If I hold command and shift tab, it goes to the left. Macintosh transition. Do you hate the spinning wheel of rainbow death as much as I do? Well, maybe there's something you can do about it, but probably not. You're probably gonna lose all your work and hate your life for at least another hour. Anyhow, just like in Windows with Alt Control Delete, in Max, it's Option Command Escape. This force quit applications, it says here you can open this window by pressing Command Option Escape which like if you didn't know it was there in the first place how how are you supposed to know that well you know that by going up here to the apple button and then uh hitting this force quit and it kind of tells you right right here but i don't i've never seen this that must mean escape so that brings up this window right here and normally if there was something it would say not responding in red right here and then you could hit force quit uh, and it would force quit for you or in the case of the finder it would relaunch let's move on next one airdrop from your iphone to your mac i did not know about airdrop once i knew about airdrop i was like I always thought it was so hard to get files from your iPhone to your Mac. No more. Use AirDrop. Okay, so if you want to use AirDrop on the computer, what you need to do is you need to make sure that you have your Bluetooth enabled and Wi-Fi on. And once you do, you can go here and over on the left, there's going to be an AirDrop column. And then uh, just people will pop up if they are available. There's me, Javier's iPhone. Yep. So let's say you want to send a photo. Click photos. This is actually a video of the White House calling at me at work. Why I would want to put this on my computer, I don't know, but I can do it. Click down here to share. And there's, there's me. There's Javier Mercedes. Oh, boom. There's uh, this thing. Hey, it says I want to accept. Boom, and then it just goes to my downloads, and look, it just went straight from my phone onto to the computer so fast. There it is. Uh, same thing goes vice versa. So say I wanna send that sweet, sweet pizza photo to my phone so I can, I don't know, post it to Instagram or something. I can click, right click here and hit share. Airdrop. What, what, what? Oh look, Javier's iPhone, boom. On my iPhone, it says, would you like to accept this? And I'd go, accept, and then boom, it's on my phone, just like that. Look, wait, I can just show you pizza everywhere. Pizza there, and pizza on my computer. There's AirDrop for you. Speaking of importing photos, if you don't know where your photos are going inside the Mac, you can, uh, so say you have your Finder up and then you are looking at uh, the photo library, but, you wanna know where the actual photos are so you can just take them and then use them in something else without degrading the quality or whatever. You can actually go find them, you right click in this photos folder and you say show package contents uh, and then it will open it up. Inside, you click this masters and oh look, here's some stuff. Boom. Next tip, merging folders. Here's the situation. Say you've been working on your Mac and you have the exact same folder on your hard drive. Well, you've been working all day on your Mac and then you wanna back it back up to your hard drive. So what happens is when you take the folder from this computer, you want to click merge folder. This will only take the things that it needs to and update the folder on your hard drive. So here is an example of the test folder on uh, an external hard drive and then here is the test folder on my desktop so I'll put these two icons above so you can get a an idea now what's gonna happen is let's say I have this awesome sawsome folder 
and then I have these two files of some scrum trolescent pizza. Same photo of pizza. Then over here I have on my desktop scrum trolescent pizza, but I have more pictures of that pizza. Why I took so many pictures of that pizza, I don't know. Let's move on. I'm going to take this folder from my hard drive onto my test folder on the uh, desktop. So if I click and drag here, boom, merge. And if you can see, it says merge will combine the two folders, preserving all the newer items such as image 4556, which is code for scrumptulescent pizza and five other items. So if I hit merge, boom. Now you can see that there's all of these pictures of the pizza and all of the files out here. It's pretty nifty, saves you so much time. And uh, yeah, hopefully one of these tips have helped you out as they have helped me out numerous times. I always think if you can help people out there in the community to just have a better time while they're at the computer, then thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, I do cooking videos, I do vlogs, and I hope to come out with more kind of tutorial-esque videos just because I feel like this is the most that I can contribute to this community. I would love it if you gave me a subscribe because nothing warms my heart more than when I just see the like if I log into YouTube and then I see like one more subscriber, I'm like, what? I got a subscriber. It's awesome. Anyhow, that's what happens every like so every time I get a subscriber, like that's that's what happens. You know, like when every time a bell rings, like an angel gets its wings. If that's how it goes, if you hit the subscribe button, I like like you literally. You can ask my wife. Like I go crazy. I'm like, what? Um, anyhow, thank you guys so much. I'm coming out with content every single day, uh, the month of November, and um, this is day three. See you tomorrow.